Abderrahman. Very great that we can see you here in your own country, Mauritania. You are a filmmaker and for many people in our country, the Netherlands, you became known due to your movie Timbuktu, which got an Oscar nomination. Why is it that you made this movie Timbuktu? For me, uh, the answer is really in my movie because uh, I, when the city Timbuktu was uh, kidnapped or occupied by some people who mostly come from another place, they come to this city. The Timbuktu is a very old city. It's a city of Islam. It means what? It's the city of the city of love, the city of to understand each other, yeah. and uh, and those people come and decide one more, one day to stop the, this kind of Islam and to propose a little vision. And one year, this city was occupied. But in the West media, people talk only about maybe few, five foreigners, sometimes French, sometimes German, who was kidnapped. But thousands and, and thousands of people were kidnapped. Yeah. And I decided to talk about the people who was kidnapped. Who were the victims? Yes. Protest against this vision of Islam. For me, it was important. For many people in Europe, also due to uh, the ideology of right wing politics, Islam is fanaticism. Islam is barbarism. You show the other side of the Islam. It's a choice to decide Islam is barbarism. It's a choice because everything for me in this world is mine. Your religion is my religion. Your country is also my country. that Islam is like that. As a filmmaker, as an artist, um, you have a very strong perception in human nature. Do you have an idea how come people can turn into fanatics and do barbarism? means because they use the person who not who are not strong to manipulate. And for me, uh, after 9/11, nobody tried to, to fight against violence. Yeah. But people tried to interpret that is its religion, its Islam. Islam. No, I cannot accept. 
ten guys go take one plane, they kill more than three thousand persons. Uh, in the name of my religion, it's not me. It's not my vision. It's not my the sense of my life. The sense of my life is the sense of life. Many people, not all Muslims. Last question. Um, the Marxist philosopher Walter Benjamin once said there is no civilization which is not built on barbarism. How do you understand this idea? I don't know exactly how to answer this question, but I want to, to tell Another sentence comes from Dostoevsky. Dostoevsky said in Russia, I translate in French or in English. Uh, he said he, he never can accept uh, the, the promise of great country, great civilization, because he know it will be built in the lie of small baby. Yeah, the tear of small baby. That is true. That is a shake. But Dostoevsky also said, yeah. and for you as an artist, that's an important idea, he said, only beauty can save the world. Absolutely. You believe that? Absolutely. Why? You know, beauty is for me uh, when the woman who was judged because she sick and uh, the Islamists take her and they beat her in my movie, Timbuktu. And in the end, she transformed her cry in song. That is beauty. It means you cannot, you can be, you can beat me, but you cannot forbid to sing. Yeah, I will sing. Maybe in my mind, but I will sing. That is beauty. When young people play the football without ball, it's also beauty. They say your decision is stupid. Okay, you don't want I play. I will play without that. Dance, that is beauty. That is the courage. Yeah. That's very important. That is the proof that you can be barbarian and, and kill many people, but you cannot kill humanity in this way. It's true. But your responsibility is to to to, to educate your child small to be better, to be more universal. Not to decide to be superior on to mépriser.